Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today I will show you the chess game between Alpha Zero and Top 4 Super Engines, in this game Super Engines sacrificed their queen against Alpha Zero, keep smiling, because life is a beautiful thing and there's so much to smile about, so let's start the game. Alpha started with E4, we have C5 Knight F3 and D6, which is called Sicilian Defense, D5 to to convert the game into open Sicilian, takes takes. Here black can play a6 knight c6 knight f6 or accelerated dragon Sicilian with g6, we have knight f6 knight c3, e6 to build 2 pawn chain to protect the diagonal form the bishop, a6 is a readable choice for black to protect that square, alpha played f4, declaring that he is the real boss, his future plan is to push the pawns to attack in the king side so Alpha will build his pieces on the third rank to castle the king on the long side and target the vulnerable d6 pawn with the rook. We have knight c6 bishop e3, a6, it's a very important move, this protects the important b5 square from any piece attacks, queen f3 to castle in queen side, with the idea of involving the rook in this file to target the d6 pawn, super engines played bishop d7, castle queen c7 h3 rook to c8, they are building queen rook battery to attack on this file, push the queen pawns and move the knight, d5 to engage the bishop on this diagonal, super engines trying to attack the alpha king in queen side. So alpha played king b1, b5 bishop b3 bishop e7 and alpha pushed his g pawn army as I told you long time ago, he is trying to attack on the king side with his pawn army, so g6 to protect the weak f5 square, Knight rotates on e2 to go to the g3 square to control these squares and prepare attack in the kingside's weak squares, we have castle, rook f1 knight b4 to target the bishop so bishop d2 to protect it, a5. They aggressively pushed their pawns in queenside and alpha pushed his pawns in kingside to attack this Rosa formation pawn structure of top engines, his plan is to push the pawns, g5 isn't possible because the knight can go to the h5 square to lead his army which is why we have f5 to pressure black pawn structure, they played e5, now g5 by alpha, both of the knights are under attack so they played knight h5, the d4 knight is in under attack which is why you can't push the f pawn. So after doing exchanges on b5 square, top engines get a chance to attack in the kingside structure, black knight is also there to support all attacks, Rook have an open file and they will push the pawn to open up the diagonal, this is a big challenge for alpha zero, do not go where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path and leave a trail, so king a1 d5, as I told you, they are targeting to the pawn and if you dare to take the pawn, let me show you the variation. Then e4 will come to target it, so queen e3 then top engines will sacrifice, the queen, because after takes, knight c2 check will come to fork both of them, king b1 knight takes. Bishop takes e3, black will up material, rook for a bishop, so back to the position, we have f takes g6 f takes pawn to open up the file, queen g4 and here, if you dare to take the pawn as black, let me show you the variation, then queen e6 check will come, king slides queen takes e7, alpha will win up a bishop for free, so in this position we have knight g7 to protect the square from queen, knight c3 to block the queen, here if you dare take the pawn again then after rook takes rook, rook takes. Queen d7 will come to target the bishop, if bishop c5 then rook c1 will target your queen, your queen will be in jail that means that you will lose your game by losing the queen. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up, and chess friends, if you want to get success in chess then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will get amazing contents from us every day, so they pushed the d-pawn to target it, bishop a4 to counter attack, queen d3, bishop b3, that's a check, king here knight back to b1, alpha is threatening to take the knight with a discover attack to queen, and in this position if you think, the queen and rook line up on there, why not he just take the rook, but it's not so easy, chess and someone else problem may seem like it is very easy, but when you face it yourself, you will understand how difficult it is. If you take the rook then queen takes c8 check will come, rook blocks queen b7, to target it, so bishop runs away, then alpha will play killer move with killer attitude, bishop takes b4 with a discover attack to the queen, 
game will over so back to the position, top engines decided to move back their queen, knight a4 to target the queen, here top engines didn't play simple moves like queen b7 or something, they said, we are invincible, we are better than alpha, so let us sacrifice our queen. Queen takes f1, we have takes, rook takes f1, knight b1, knight c2 checkmate, oops, it's not checkmated yet, top engines are top fool, bishop takes rook takes c2, threatening to take the bishop because the knight is pinned, alpha zero is completely winning here because he have the queen, but be careful, you have to break the combination of black rooks and their structure, only then you can flag your own region image otherwise with it will be a draw. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.